Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you a look at something a little different here today. Um, this is out of all the different lights that I have used over time with both photo and video work, I would say that this is the most versatile lighting unit that I have ever seen before, ever used before. This is from Luxly, and it is the follow-up to their, you know, very kind of a hit um, lighting, which is was called the Viola. This is called the Cello, and so it has grown from a 5-inch panel to a 10-inch panel, and as a byproduct of that, it has become even more versatile for use in different kind of lighting situations. And so, the unique thing about uh, this particular panel, and of course there are any number of lights out there to choose from, the premise here um, in the basic panel, you know, a bunch of LED LEDs putting out a lot of light, that's not necessarily unique. But what is unique about the Luxly lights, and really kind of positions them as being a premium products, is the fact that, number one, every one of them that comes um, with this, they will come, one of the things you'll note right in the box as you're going to take things out, is you actually have a photometric report that shows the, the gamut, the color accuracy of the exact unit that you have received. And so they come with an actual calibration. So for example, on uh, the unit that I've got, it had a calibration date of February 23rd, 2018. The serial number is there. And then a breakdown of all of the um, you know, six different tests that are done as a part of this that show you the color gamut and the scale. And so we're talking about a whole new level of accuracy. And if you are a, you know, either for stills or for, um, particularly for video work and you're looking for color accuracy, this is kind of a big deal. Now, the other thing that is unique about this, or I should say one of the main things that is unique is not just that it is accurate. And on that note, um, let me just talk to you for a second about the physical controls, which are uh, another huge plus on this. And so I'll, I'll touch on the, the Bluetooth portion in a moment. But one thing that um, is, is fantastic is on the back of the unit, you've got several knobs that you can also click um, you know, that will you, you can use them in multiple modes. And so I'm um, just in terms of this uh, white balance here. So let's just start there on the white balance note. Now, if you click this, you have standard options like 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin. But then if you actually turn the knob, you actually have a range starting from 3000 Kelvin or very warm. And you can go in degrees, um, very precise degrees, all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. And so you can have a very, very cool light source. And so number one, I mean, just on that note, if you're looking for a certain kind of look, you can program in a very precise, calibrated Kelvin. And by the way, part of what they, they thrive at is that this light is accurate not just at you know one or a couple, but at all of these Kelvin values along the way, it is standardized, it's calibrated, and so you're getting a very accurate result. The other thing that you have got here as far as the dial here is that you have got the ability to, um, once again, rotate through by single degrees, and it's, it's nicely calibrated, so if you turn fast, it moves very fast. If you turn slow, it will slow down. And so, I mean, you can, see, for example, I can go from 100 to zero just like that, or zero to 100 also very quickly, but you can also go by individual percentage points, anywhere between zero and 100%. So that's huge um, in and of itself right there. And clicking it will allow you to go right you know, if you've, you've set a certain value and say you're wanting to uh, go dark in between a certain shot or whatever. So let's say I've got it here at 62%. If I click that, I instantly go to zero. If I click it again, I'm back to 62%. So just a lot of in, intuitiveness that is built into the controls. But that's not where it ends in terms of these physical controls. You can also uh, click it again and you can go into a huge range of built-in filters and gels that are built right into the light. And so, I mean, it, it's really incredible, you know, and some of those are going to be, you know, spelled out. And so, for example, you have got chroma key blue, you've got chroma uh, key green. And so if you've just got, you know, for example, a white backdrop, you're wanting to illuminate it 
and um, you want to go for a chroma key look, you've got those built in. And then you've got a lot of standards. You've got, you know, all the different degrees of plus minus green, CTPs, um, you know, and so on and so forth. Apricot, gold tint. <laughs> it's got all kinds of names here. I mean, I even just got number 26, which is bastard amber. So <laughs> whatever that is. Pale rose, light pink, medium pink. And all throughout this different range, all of these filters are built right into it. And, uh, you know, and so that in and of itself is pretty incredible. Then you can also go by uh, varying degrees if you're wanting to do um, just more of a kind of a color picker, not at standards. And so you can choose both, which is interesting. You can choose both the uh, degree at, you know, say I'm at 200 and 38 degrees here in terms of a color temperature, but then I also can when I click this I can actually choose different levels of color saturation So I mean to have this degree of Control over the light color and a physical control in particular is really really unique and the fact that it is designed to work in such a uh, just a logical, intuitive way in terms of the physical controls is really, really impressive to me. Now, of course, for me, most of what I'm doing is, you know, videoing where I'm looking at a certain white balance and, you know, balancing with, um, I've been using this actually a lot as a fill light um, for a couple of reasons. It's very versatile in the way that you can actually uh, mount it. For one thing, it does come with a, uh, it, with a great, you know kind of premium feeling ball head here and when i say premium i mean it's all metal materials it's very very i mean it just it's not a, one of these cheapo ball heads it's a very nice ball head it locks in very securely so you've got the option um to go you know on to a hot or cold shoe there and so that's certainly a nice option but then it's also threaded here at the bottom in a standard um, quarter inch uh, threading and so if you also if you wanted to mount it on top of a you know any kind of standard light pole you can just thread that onto that and I've been using it in this fashion quite a bit because uh, you, you probably haven't noticed it per se but um, in a lot of my videos right off camera I have been having this light um, on and um, you know, color balanced for the scene that I'm doing, just to give me some fill light and the fact that it is quite bright due to all of these LEDs. So at a 100% and a distance of about three feet, it's got a lux rating of 12, right basically a hair under 1200 lux at three feet. And so it's enough fill light, just enough to make a difference and still look natural. And so it's versatile when it comes to that. So for me, I'm mostly using it on the, the white balance settings. But the other thing that is cool about this is that if you're wanting, uh, if you're doing more video work and you're wanting effects, for example, um, either through the unit itself, but then also there is a free app, the Luxly Conductor. And through that, you can actually program a lot of effects. And I'm gonna throw a link to a cool uh, video that helps to illustrate all the different stuff you can do. By the way, you know, sometimes I'm just setting this on a, a table uh, nearby me. Um, if I'm doing segments where I'm at a table. And so for example, I just borrowed a, um, a foot from one of my uh, flash units and so here for example if I have it set up like this and you know and I have lots of times it's just been off camera and you didn't know it was there um, you know I can just use the ball head to position it to where it's giving some extra fill light and um, you know it's bright enough that even in outside conditions where I've been shooting a lot recently uh, it's still enough there to make a difference but going back to the conductor app you can actually all those different things that I just talked about that you can um, program on the actual physical unit itself. You can also do those things very intuitively on the Bluetooth app. But a cool thing about in the app is you can actually have it programmed to run differing effects. You know, for example, if you're wanting to do, you know, like lights flashing as if someone was pulled over by a cop car. You can create mood, of course, through color temperature and through lighting effects. And the cool thing about this, obviously it's very portable, it's gonna be easy to bring along. But the other thing that's cool is because it's, it's very accurate, you have a high degree of repeatability. And so, you know, for example, if you have stock footage of, you know, say flames, for example, and this is an application that I will use. And so I can shoot video like this of flames 
But then I don't have to have a fire every time I want to have that kind of flickering glow on the face of a subject. So you can have a subject sitting in a studio, flickering glow on their faces, you know, and, and then, you know, panning to a standard stock shot of the fire blazing, and you have created the feel of uh, someone sitting next to a fire. And so, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's very, very cool. And so if you're looking for some versatility, you know, maybe you're an amateur filmmaker and looking to have a lot of lighting effects on a budget and in a great compelling package there, you know, you can have gel filters, you can have, um, you can have the various CCT looks, you can look at all these different things all built into the unit itself. Now, in terms of uh, the other, the power source is a uh, standard, it's a, it's a Sony-ish, it's, it's not a Sony battery, but a Sony style NP um, F750 or 770 unit. And you're gonna get at full power, you know, hour, hour and a half of uh, light off of that. I find that for, you know, my purposes and my segments, I'm, you know, about once a week, I'm needing to charge up that battery for as much as I'm using. But of course, you could have multiple power packs and run it that way. You've also got the option to uh, run an AC adapter into it if you're wanting to film long term. And then there's also a USB port where you could do firmware updates to it and potentially add even more functionality in the future. Now, uh, in terms of real world use, as I said, it works very, very intuitively. It's been great for me. If I have got any criticism, it is one. And that is that I, I notice because a lot of times I have it fairly close to me when, um, when I'm shooting, that as it's kind of warming up, I'll hear some little um, pops and crackles periodically here and there, um, just as something is flexing and warming up inside. I don't know if that will go away in time, um, but certainly that is something that I have seen. And so as far as any kind of criticism, that's about as much as I can come up with, um, other than also the, the viola, the smaller light, it had a very cool optional diffusion panel on there to which there was very little light loss. Now, I'm presuming that for the cello, because it's very, very new, that that diffusion panel is coming. I do find, think that it would be useful because, you know, sometimes I've been using this even to put inside my LED light tent where I do like product photography to, um, to help to give a different directional illumination on things. And I'm finding that I would prefer a diffusion panel just to eliminate uh, some of the hot spots, you know, just have a more even spread of light. So I, I do want to encourage Luxlead to get that panel available sooner rather than later. And so, you know, for the moment, that's a con. I suspect it will certainly um, be corrected soon. The Luxley lights are made in Norway, and so these are um, these are premium panels. They're assembled in um, you know in a, in a high-end manufacturing company or country, I should say, and um, and so uh, they're not cheap. The uh, cello comes in at three ninety-nine is the price on it. Um, I have seen it already go on sale at one point, fifty dollars off, and so you might want to keep an eye out for sales. But uh, if you're looking for a light that can kind of do pretty much everything and is extremely, extremely versatile, um, then certainly keep the cello in mind. The other cool thing is that if you're using the conductor app, you can um, simultaneously connect to a, a, a large number of these panels. And so you can do a tremendous amount of work on set or whatever. Um, all controlling from a single app, which makes it very, very simple. You can mix and match with violas, and uh, they even have a, a new one-by-one -one panel coming out called the timpani, which is going to be uh, even huger, obviously, and an even more amount of light. And so uh, it's, it's a cool line of products. You might want to check it out. And so if you're interested, I'll throw a link in the description down below. And so you can go and check it out, purchase one for yourself. I'll also throw a link to a couple of their, um, you know, kind of um, showing off the product video that will help to demonstrate some of its capabilities to you, maybe a little better than what I've been able to do here. And of course, as always, you can follow me there on social media. You can become a patron. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.